Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to solve this interesting little math word problem. Let's go and take a look at the problem right now. It says the sum of four consecutive integers is 334. We want to find the integers. And this type of problem is a very common type of algebra word problem. So I'm giving you a little bit of a hint. You will need to use a little bit of algebra to figure this thing out. But uh, if you can uh, solve this, go ahead and put your answers into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer. And then, of course, I'm going to um, go through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so the key to solving this problem is we need to understand the words consecutive and integers. And if you don't know what those words quite mean, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain this in just uh, one second. But let's take a look at the answers. Uh, the sum of four consecutive integers is 334. We want to find these four integers. And the answer is the following. 82, 83, 84, 85. These are our four consecutive integers. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that's fantastic. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars to tell your friends and family that, you know what, I know how to solve a math per, uh, word problem involving consecutive integers. They're just going to be flabbergasted with that information. They're going to be like, wow, you know, uh, very impressive. Okay, so let's get into the problem. And the first thing we need to understand is uh, this word integers and this word consecutive. Okay, so of course, you know, if you're like, oh, I'm not sure what the word consecutive means, well, you're going to be confused on what to do. So let's talk about integers and consecutive integers. So basically, here are integers. Okay, now integers are a um, uh, type of number. Okay, they're a, uh, a subset of the real numbers. Okay, so negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Uh, these right here are what we call integers. Okay, on the real number line. Now, hopefully, you remember that. Uh, and again, this is part of the real number set. Okay, it's a subset of the real number system. But numbers like this, which are whole numbers, right? These are a one, two, and three. These are uh, what we refer, refer to as natural numbers or counting numbers in mathematics. Then we throw in zero, and we have the whole numbers. And then here, these are the positive whole numbers. And if I have the negative whole numbers, this entire set here is a set of integers. Okay, But I don't think it's really you know, ultra critical that you remember all of this. You should know the different type of number uh, systems. Okay. That's really important. But if you kind of forgot the specific definition of an integer, as long as you recognize uh, integers as these type of numbers, then you're good to go. Now let's talk about the word consecutive. Consecutive just means, um, if I said uh, three consecutive numbers, it's one uh, number right after the uh, uh, another number. So for example, one, the next number is two, the next number is three. These are three consecutive numbers. Okay, so things like four, seven, and nine, these are not consecutive. Okay, uh, four, five, and six, because uh, they're uh, one right after the other, these are consecutive. So these are consecutive uh, numbers and specifically consecutive integers. Okay, so now that you understand that, what we need to do is go back to the problem because we are dealing with a uh, math word problem. And uh, you always need to read these things at least a couple, two or three times at a minimum. Okay, so the first time I read it, I'm like, okay, I got a sense of the problem. The second time I read it, I'm like, all right, I need to understand what consecutive an integer is. And I know I have four, okay, four uh, numbers that add up uh, to 334. And these four numbers happen to be integers and are also consecutive, meaning they're going to be coming, they're going to um, come right after another. Now, I can imagine maybe some of you that were like, you know, I could kind of just test the waters. I got one, two, three, four. I add all that up. These are four consecutive integers. Oh, it doesn't add up to three, three, four. And you just keep playing with uh, consecutive integers until you, you know, through trial and error until you find this. But that would be the long way. What we want to do here. It's construct an equation to solve this. 
And this is a very common type of algebra word problem. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. So we're going to let x equal our first integer. Okay, we're going to establish this variable x uh, as our first integer, whatever that might be. All I know is that if this is x, the next number right after it is x plus 1. Okay, and I need the number right after x because we're talking about uh, consecutive numbers. So our second integer would be x plus 1. And then if I take x plus 1 and add a 1 to it, this would be my third integer, x plus 1 plus 1, or x plus 2, right? That would be my third integer. And then, of course, if I add another 1 to it, so I get x plus uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1, or x plus 3, this right here would be my th uh, fourth integer, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can model these um, uh, mystery integers right here, and these would be four uh, consecutive integers. Now, I don't know what the actual uh, values are, but uh, certainly from an algebraic standpoint, I can uh, kind of write this model out. And that's what you need to do uh, You know, when you're solving a problem like this is to pick a variable, okay? And you need to define what it is. You're letting x equal the first integer, x, equal, x, plus, x plus 1 equal the second, and so forth, all right? So hopefully, uh, you know, you understood that because you understood what the concept of consecutive means. But now what we need to do is, like, go back to the problem. Okay, we're like, all right, what does the problem says? Or the problem uh, says what? The sum. The sum. In other words, if we add up these four consecutive integers, you're going to get 3, 3, 4. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these four integers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, four consecutive integers, and we're going to create an equation. We're going to add those up because we know the answer is going to be 3, 3, 4. So here's our first one. x plus 1 is our second consecutive integer. And then we add another one, right, to this uh, plus 1, x plus 1 plus 1. That's x plus 2. That's our third. We um, add a 1 to this. That would be x plus 3. That's our fourth. So these are our four consecutive integers. The sum of our four consecutive integers is equal to 3, 3, 4. So now all we need to do is solve this lovely equation for x. So we have x, 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 and x. That's 4x, right? So 4x's. Then we have 1 and 2 and 3. That gives us 6. And so we're just doing some basic algebra here. So let's solve for x. What we need to do now is subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. I get 4x is equal to 3. 28, and now I divide both sides of the equation by 4, I get x is equal to 82. So what is that? Well, that is our first uh, integer, okay? And we know that we have four consecutive integers. If it starts with 82, let's just use common sense. Well, okay, 82. The next one is going to be 83. The next one is going to be 84, et cetera, et cetera. But if you were kind of confused about that, you could just go back to our little model here, uh, x was equal to 82, x plus 1, of course, 83, x plus 2 from uh, from our 82 is 84, and then, of course, 85 would be our last consecutive integer. Okay, so again, a very, very kind of common type of algebra word problem. Whether you're taking pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, you will face this and other types of uh, word problems as well. Now, if you need help with any aspect of this, I'm going to suggest checking out uh, either one of my uh, pre-algebra or Algebra 1 courses. Well, um, yeah, I cover plenty of different type of word problems in there. And also on my YouTube channel, I have a ton of different type of word problems that can help you out as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.